Hello everyone. In this video, we'll demonstrate the installation of Spark Systems patented quad architecture based Q2000 micro inverter. This quad architecture ensures individual MPPT and enables the use of four solar panels through a singular lightweight compact unit. For PV panel installation, make sure that a skilled and qualified technician does the installation. For this particular site, we have PV panels mounted on aluminium frames. It is very important that each spark microinverter installed has a solid bond to the system ground to ensure that we offer weeb based grounding. Weaves allow use of metal teeth washer which can penetrate the anodized surface and make a solid contact between the underlying metal enclosure to the system ground. For the purpose of this installation, we are using M8 weep based poles to ensure that the anodized surface is penetrated deep enough and has a solid contact with the system ground. Spark Systems also offered the option of bonding Spark's Q2000 microinverter equipment ground to the system ground via a grounding lug. Please use an appropriately sized equipment grounding conductor, also known as EGC, to connect the ground lug to the system ground. It is recommended that you install the Q2000 microinverters with the fins facing the free air. This ensures elimination of hotspot formation in hotter climates and better thermal performance of the inverter. Once the microinverters have been mounted with the M8 Weeb based bowls, please use appropriate equipment to tighten the bolts. The ground lug is also accessible from the back and can be connected as shown in the video. The grounding conductor should be connected to a weeb based clamp on the rack of the panels. Once the inverter's ground has been bonded to the system ground, please use a multimeter to perform a continuity check between the equipment ground and the system ground. Once the inverters have been mounted, you can start connecting the PV panels. Please make sure that you hear a click sound when you connect the PV panel to the inverter. To disconnect the PV panel from the inverter, we provide a DC disconnect tool. After connecting the PV panels to the inverter, please use Spark's T5 AC cable to connect to the AC outlet of the inverter. The T5 AC cable should terminate into a junction box from where it can go into an AC distribution box or a transition box. To disconnect the AC cable, please use the AC disconnect tool provided by Spark Systems. Once the site has been commissioned, please wait for two to three minutes and observe the status of the LEDs. The right power LED should be blinking green and the left Zigbee LED should be solid green. This indicates that the inverter is exporting power and is connected to the spark link.